I wanted to be a meteorologist, a doctor, a chemist. But now I found a new love for space science. I'm planning to be an astrophysicist. We were told that Ella wasn't talking much at school. Teachers would be like, we don't know if she's understanding us, she's not responding. Then the first grade teacher said that she had some decoding issues. That's being able to sound out words. She would understand the context of the story, but not necessarily each word. And she wasn't doing well in school because everybody else was really reading. She also felt like she wasn't so smart. She felt bad about herself. When people first say dyslexia, you think that you're like out of the regular group. But as you start realizing there's lots of people around who have dyslexia, they just don't always talk about it. I think that helped all of us to have some kind of name to put to what was, what was happening for her. I saw this YouTube video on how we should live on Venus instead of Mars. She's had a really blossoming year with her teacher, Liz Skelly. She's really helped her a lot. I'm actually freakishly scared of the ocean. People like, with I've dyslexia not only have specific weaknesses, but we're finding have really unique and interesting strengths. Her nickname was First Lady of Physics. Because they have this different way of problem solving and thinking that actually, as adults, can often make them highly successful. The majority of the women, most of the men got the credit for their work. Ella has made years of growth in a very short amount of time. And part of that is because she's so interested in learning. She is so much more confident <laughs> because she's her biggest advocate. I'm always thinking about the future and how great it's going to be. back for the A game. I mistakenly thought the last one was the A game, but we're back for some more basketball. The final game of the night as let me turn that off so I don't get no feedback issues. I'm going to crank this down to 360 maybe and See if that does a whole lot for that. And we are beginning this game. Bulldogs looking to set up as Rome playing point guard out there very deep to begin to set this up. Hits the three. That's going to be off target, and we're going to have a, looks like he touched the traveling, traveling call on that, and missed by the Rangers, so... Looking for that little screen offense. He gets it underneath. He's got the Rangers there, though, and he decides to kick it back out. And we're going to have a 
foul on that call, so... Rangers once again with the ball. Neither team has scored yet. Rangers are the first ones to get on the board, and that is a three on their side. Can't get it, and Dixon has a chance to tie this up with an old-fashioned three-point play. That is Maverick Yoakum on that. Six-foot-eight center for the Bulldogs playing today. And free throw, no good. Offensive rebound, and Dixon takes a one-point lead now. We have a... I think he fell on the ground, but that's going to be swatted out of bounds, and four minutes left in the quarter, and Dixon leads by a point. Beery uh, was set up for a three there. He didn't take it. So third rebound for Iberia. The ball gets loose. Iberia still has it, and we're going to have a foul against Dixon. I would look for a cut to the basket or possibly a outside shot on this inbounds. There's that outside shot, not there. And reversed it, second outside shot. And Dixon will take a timeout. We'll be back after this PSA. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. And coming back, and Dixon is out of their huddle, and... Still a little bit of discussion on the Iberia side over here. That was a long 30 seconds, I think. But Dixon can't score from that basket anyway, so works out for them. Dixon goes up, partially blocked. Bulldogs once again, that's Rome. Rome will score. And three oh seven in the period. That was on Dixon that fell. So three fouls are ready for the Bulldogs. Underneath, kicks it out. Good job by Dixon to get up on him as he's had a score to three on the last time they was down there. And he's open again. Dixon's there to slow him down with the trap. So that's a pick. That's a deep three. He's not able to get that one. Corner three, and that's overshot. Dixon rebound, he's wide open for strong, strong foul there to stop the basket as 
anything else probably would have not gone very well. So G. Rome with a great effort and good effort on defense by the Rangers also on that. So first free throw is no good. I believe that was Burns on the defensive foul there, which was a good effort. And Dixon still keeps the ball, can't get it. Dixon up, Dixon scores. So Dixon now leads eight to six in this ball game. Rangers are not backing down though as they have a three point offense that is very tough to beat. Not quite the Schofield three point offense, but it is a very good offense. Dixon's able to use their height and get the rebound. And we're going to have a, another foul here. And kind of a wish and a prayer shot. And did we need to to draw the foul and get a couple baskets? This burns on the. Free throw, the first shot is good. The foul was wrong. And Dixon can't hang on to it as he goes out of bounds. Kicks out. The left the three-point shooter open, and Iberia knocks this back up at 10 apiece. But Dixon's looking for a cut underneath, and they got it there. If they can get their hands up a little bit. Dixon goes underneath. So Dixon with a heavily favored layup style offense underneath. And we're going to have a timeout. Rangers will be back after this PSA. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. So we are back after the timeout. Both teams are getting ready and... As I mentioned earlier, Iberia is really going for a three-point style shoot-and-go style offense. Dixon more of a slow-it-down, get-a-layup type thing. So Iberia, if they can hit them, they'd have an advantage, but you can only hit so many, and Iberia underneath kicks it back out. Dixon's there. Dixon has it, and... Missed on the shot. Dixon played it and got the bucket. And left Iberia alone on this side. Blocked it. And we're going to have a whistle with 15 seconds left. So that is on the Rangers. Neither team's really got any foul issues team-wise. I'm not sure about individual fouls, but 10 seconds. They got time for one play and can't quite get the shot, so clock 
clock will run down. And the half-court shot will go in. So Rangers now trail by one point. We'll be back after this one-minute PSA. I don't remember how it started. Oh. Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Yeah. You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Nice. So looking at the replay, unfortunately it wasn't a half-court shot, it was close to the volleyball line, but still off the glass either way, and Iberia will get the ball back. So far a good performance by both teams as somehow the Rangers have hit, I think, every three they've shot so far in that quarter. Just gonna start calling them Golden State. Shoot when you wide open. Shoot that. Underneath, across the court, couple there. Another effort, and that's gonna be a turnover as Iberia is really blocking that box off to keep Dixon from getting those easy little buckets. Another three. That's gonna be the first miss, I believe, of the game for three-point range. Three point shot, nearly made it in. Rebound, to Iberia. And that will be the first out of bounds of the game with 439 left in the first half. Very good run by both teams. Not a lot of points scored so far in this quarter, but a lot of shots for Dixon, just not quite able to get them to fall. Rome with the jumper, offensive rebound. That is not there. Iberia comes away with it after the save. a travel off that. I believe tomorrow is Wednesday, which means it is late start day. Not for Dixon, by the way. Two-point shot for Dixon, though, on that. So Once again, a three-point lead, but as we can, as we see in this game, a three-point lead is not a safe lead anymore. Iberia is like having five, like ha having five Patrick Vinatieri's on a football team right there. Never know which one's going to kick that field goal. And we are now back underway after multiple subs in the game by both teams. Iberia knocks that out, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to have two shots. Foul against Iberia. So that's going to send Camden Burns to the line. Vital free throws here. And coming into the game is... Don't have a 22 on the Iberia roster. Again, that lead is gone, and we're knotted back up as I believe five threes in the game for Iberia so far. So, if you need to learn about three point offense, watch this game afterwards. This is any, any indication of a high school team. We may be in for a very exciting. Frisco League this year as we have several very good teams. Steel, we're going to have a travel called. Unable to get the jump stop down and I initially thought that was a foul on Dixon, but three point shot. That's going to be off target and out of bounds. So back to Iberia. Bounds. Iberia looking for a three-point shot. This time it's a two, and the two is off the glass. So the bank is open today, boys. And two-point shot along with the chance for a freebie as we're tied up at 18 apiece. <laughs> So the, so the bank is open with free with free pins today if anyone needs to go to the bank. And Dixon will get a official's timeout. And we have a Injury coming out of here as we set our clock back to 14. And it looks like we are about ready to go. And double dribble, so back to the Bulldogs. Balance shot, but it went in, and Iberia is back the other way, looking for long jumper. And they're going to try to go inside a little bit, and Dixon's there on that rebound. And they're going to have a foul and chance, I believe, for two more points as is. McBride going to the line now. His first oh shot is God. off the iron. 
Just a three-point difference, and three points does not mean a lot in this ball game. Second three, second attempt is no good. Teams are looking for another three again for Iberia. That was off, and they're going to draw a foul underneath, though. So that'll send the Rangers to the line. That is. I no wonder that's a Dixon side right there. I was looking for Iberia. That is Tanner Peterson. Free throw no good. Coming into the game is Dominic Sheldon. And just shifting around as kind of put the bigger guys underneath if need be. So free throw is good. Just a two point difference now. The other day, Dixon had their hands full against, I believe it was Lynn. Either Lynn or Cuba, where it's a one point game. May have been both a pretty close matchup. And. So Iberia is once again setting up. Off the back of the glass, so that one was. And Dixon finally gets across the line. Two-point shot, not able to get it. Gets his own rebound, kicks it out, and... Out shot. for the three. Shot! Shot! shot. Three-point shots up, off target, offensive rebound. That one's off, and that one will go in. So 23-19 going into halftime. We'll be back after this PSA. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. Germantown. Mavericks. Mary Rose. The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community, the fan base, and just the support and encouragement that you get from your family and your um, friends. It's great. The hardest thing, thing about cheer for me is tumbling because I'm actually a dancer outside of school, and so the tumbling dynamics versus the dance dynamics is totally opposite. I feel like choir has given me just such great memories. We are always just, you know, singing with our har like harmonies and with other people, and it's just so cool. It's so fun. One of my favorite memories from cross country this past year was when my team made it to state. At the race, everyone picked up their games, and when the fifth guy crossed and he made it, everyone was just so excited and it like outbursts couldn't control their feelings. By playing basketball, I learned that I can almost do anything I want. If I set my mind to it, I can achieve my goals by having a plan. A great reason to get yourself involved in sports and activities is to meet new people and create new relationships, experience new things, and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is commitment. My reason why is passion, friendship, pride. My reason why is to keep going. So we are back here for the final half of the night as the A-team boys will get ready to take on Iberia again. And Dixon has a narrow lead, just four points, and Iberia has scored by five threes so far in this ballgame. game. 
And Bixen underneath. Good shot and good, good assist on that. Bixen with good defense to start this out as... Abiria will get the ball in front of their own bench. Bixen stole it. Look down court, two on one. Not quite. We have offensive rebound. I believe that was a shooting foul. It's two shots. So that'll send Camden Burns to the line. And that'll give Dixon a 26 to 19 lead now. Dixon coming out a little more under control. Iberia spreads the court. And coast to coast for two more. So just like that, it is a nine point lead in favor of Dixon. Dixon spreading out the defense a little bit, trying to slow down the threes underneath. Good shot by the Rangers, so they will break into the 20s now. A little bit of hand on the ball, but Dixon's able to come away with it and almost rolled it in there. We have a jump ball, so it'll go back to Iberia. It's a seven point difference. the jumper, Dixon with the basket. Three point shot, nearly bounced in, offensive rebound. And Dixon came out in a hurry and we're halfway through this quarter now just about as it's been all Bulldogs so far. Rome with the shot, Rome with the pinball. And that will be blocked, so. We may not be a ball. We're going to try to get through the, those Dixon trees in the way. And nearly rolled in. A 30 second timeout. We'll be back after this PSA. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. And coming back out of this, the both teams are ending the timeout here, and Dixon has gone on a roll. They now lead 34-21 to 21 if you're just joining us in the A game. 
This is a Frisco League contest and also a Misha contest, so sportsmanship is greatly appreciated. And anything you do here, many people will see and will remember it. Especially on the court as nothing on the internet disappears. Another three. We're going to have a foul. So that's going to bring up three free throws for the Rangers. Sheldon comes into the game and replaces Kinnon. Third free throw. And that will be out of bounds, so back to Iberia as Iberia has settled down now and kind of got Dixon going a little too fast. Deal for Dixon. Good pass up ahead, but the Rangers were there for that one. Another thought about the corner three and a foul against the Bulldogs. Sheldon's first foul. We've got a timeout. We'll be back after this PSA again. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. Out of the timeout, both teams are ready to go here, and Julia is inbounds on their end. Look for a corner shot, possibly. Kind of opposite of what they've done lately, but oh, tripod moved. And Dixon with the bucket. Long shot, can't get it. Rebound, Bulldogs. Burns with that. I have an offensive foul on for Dixon. It'll be the second foul on Burns. Team fouls, both teams are doing good. And Dixon will pick up another foul, so that will send, I believe that's 15, that is 15. 
That'll send Mason Spencer to the line for a couple shots. And Burns picked up his third foul right there. Throws for Dixon as Sheldon will go to the line. Chris Shreve will get his second free or second foul of the game. First shot is no good. Dixon still has the ball, kicks it out. Deep three, almost rolled in. We're going to have a over the back foul. So McBride a little bit too strong right there on the rebound as it went over the back. So back to the Rangers. Back to a 12-point ball game here, but Dixon is holding strong so far. we got one more quarter to go after this. And two-point shot good for the Bulldogs. And that's going to bring up some free throws as Rangers... I believe that was Peterson going up for the shot. He's able to draw a foul. Second foul for Sheldon. Couple subs coming in for the Rangers and no one for Dixon. For Iberia is replacing Spencer. And good pass. That will make it 15 points. Another three. That one is off target. So with that, we'll be back in a minute. Dixon leads 40 to 25 over Iberia. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. Miss Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll come over and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. And free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. 
And we are ready to start the final quarter of the night as the Bulldogs lead the Rangers by 15 points. And Dixon will come out with the ball. And underneath, we're going to have a quick foul called against the Bulldogs. So that will be Fancher to pick up the foul. That's his second personal. At this point, fouls don't mean a whole lot unless you have five or so. Or four, I guess. If you have five, you're probably sitting on the bench watching. Bulldogs looking to close this game out. Iberia is wanting to disrupt it a little bit. Dixon underneath. Dixon with the score. So just the placement of Dixon is improved throughout the game as they're being more aware. We're gonna have a off turnover, I guess. We have a turnover. And Hans just comes into the game. Big part of the B game. Hance with the shot, short, and Beery had a hand on it. We had a couple rebounds on that, and Dixon will come away with some free throws. One is no good. So change of lineup for the Rangers a little bit. dribble so back to the other side it goes and 18 point lead for Dixon another three that's going to come down short offensive rebound off target Third shot, and Dixon will pick up the fourth rebound of that series. And good set up by Dixon, as that will make it 20 points. Going to have a timeout. We'll be back after this one-minute PSA. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was uh, Ms. Araceli. Ms. Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll come over and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. 
getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. We are back for final four minutes of this game as Dixon's just taken a 20-point lead and with four minutes to go, it is going to be tough. Dixon will take a timeout. We'll be back after, guess what, this PSA. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. Miss Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing, and she'll come over, and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. And we are back here, and we are going to look up the next... Well, the next broadcast for me will be in West Plains, Missouri, as the Tigers will travel and face the West Plains Zizzers, who are one of the top teams in Class 4. And I believe next week I'll be here either Monday or Tuesday for the final Bulldogs home game of the year. As fall sports begin to wind down, districts are at the end of this month for cross country. Actually, Monday I will not be here. We have cross country districts in Plato that night. Next week is the Frisco League Tournament, actually, which is going to be held in Richland. So with that one and one, that will send Rangers to the line, and Peterson will get a chance. 20 points separate both these teams. Steals it. Dixon have a jump ball. That will go back to the Rangers. So Rangers have not given up yet. Thank you, Bill Gates, Internet God of the World, for making the Internet work again. I think that's who makes the Internet work. Oh, it's Al Gore. I apologize. Al Gore. Al Gore makes the internet go by. Underneath, just a little off the side for Dixon. The Rangers can get the rebound. Clock does continue to run, though. Beautiful pass. Beautiful shot by the Rangers. And 16-point lead remains as... It's going to be on number 10 of the Rangers. That is Perkins. That's his third foul. However, I would probably tell my kids here to do what you have to and score away. We're going to have a jump ball going to Dixon.
Remember to thank all your teachers as they could be at home grading papers or sleeping right now and they're probably here watching a basketball game or coaching a game, so they're up for some late nights. Rangers with some aggressive defense as they are able to force a turnover. We have a technical issue with the clock here, and it's back, so. Pass underneath. Can't quite get it. A couple Dixon-sized trees on the way. And got trio of subs for Dixon. Kramer comes into the game for trio of subs for Iberia. Kramer comes in for Dixon as... Both teams are starting putting some B players here now to finish this out. Both these teams have had an excellent game here. Iberia shooting early, just five threes in the first half was amazing. And once again, Iberia will pick up another assist off the score. And Dixon goes down, will... Return the favor and pick up a basket of their own as the clock will run towards the one minute mark. Seconds left as more subs come into the ball game. Two point shot nearly went in for the Rangers, and second attempt. That's going to pick up a foul. And Jacobs will pick up that foul. with the bucket. So clock runs down under 30 as the Bulldogs will pick up a victory here. They'll begin play in the Frisco League tournament on, on Monday, I believe. for Dixon, so that will probably run this out as that will end the game. So with that, the Bulldogs will win this 53-34. to Thank you for coming out and have a great day.
At its core, the mission of the NFHS is to educate, and it has been involved in offering education programs for coaches and officials since 1990. The NFHS uh, solved the need to adopt a program that they could deliver to their state associations to help educate coaches. From 1990 until 2006, the NFHS and the American Sport Education Program collaborated on a coaches' education program. That really filled a need at the time. And the program was classroom-based. You uh, sat in a classroom all day. It was like eight to 12 hours. While the education programs with ASEP would be deemed effective, they paled in comparison with what was to come with the creation of the NFHS's own coach education program. The very best in interscholastic coach training and professional development is available for you on NFHSLearn.com. I met with Bob Canopy and I, I, I said to him, uh, we need to develop our own program. We need to develop a program that is easier to administrate, is really hits hard on the fundamental philosophy of, of education-based athletics. In January 2007, the NFHS launched NFHSLearn.com with two online courses designed exclusively for interscholastic coaches. No one could have envisioned the positive reaction that was to come in the years ahead. By the end of five years, the program had expanded to 32 courses and more than one million had been delivered to coaches across the country. We got more states engaged than uh, we ever thought was possible. But this is one program that there is not a state in this country that doesn't in some form or fashion you know, deliver to their coaches. The success of the education program is best exhibited by the Concussion in Sports course. By 2013, more than one million concussion courses had been delivered. Today, that number has risen to more than 4.2 million, all free of charge. The numbers went off the charts, and many of our states began to require their coaches to complete this course. In fact, a few states require coaches to complete it every year. Some states even require officials to take this course. Since its inception, the education program on NFHSLearn.com has been directed by two NFHS staff members. Flannery oversaw its creation and expansion for seven years, delivering on a goal to provide a cost-effective education program that targeted the role of the interscholastic coach in an educational setting. After working alongside Flannery for six years, Dan Schuster took over the program in 2014 and has guided it to new heights. The NFHS Learning Center now includes 68 online courses, 33 available for free. In addition to 17 sports-specific courses, it includes courses for officials, students, parents, and individuals within performing arts programs. If you want to be the best coach, the best parent, the best athlete, the best official, go to the Learning Center. That's going to help you be the best you can be.